did we leave off last? So last video, we were supposed to uh, come back the following day, fill up the transfer case and get the transmission fluid filled up in the 05, get that thing running and get that thing checked off the list. That way we could uh, work on the first gen. So uh, that did not happen. We had a lot of things come up. Uh, doing, doing videos, working full time, having a baby, uh, definitely uh, as far as time management go, time management goes, a little bit of a challenge, let's put it that way. So uh, yesterday we had a lot of things come up besides all of that. Uh, this gosh dang trailer, uh, seeing that it's going to snow this evening, uh, totally forgot about emptying uh, our lovely tanks right here, which hold all of the uh, goodness inside of them from the bathroom. Uh, had to go deal with that yesterday. On top of all of that, had to get uh, RV antifreeze all inside this thing get this thing winterized so that ate up a bunch of time uh and of course it is now dark as soon as we get out of work which always makes for a fun time so let me open this larry up in here hey there's some lights so as you can see we still have the danger in here what we had to do is get uh get that pink get that pink rv antifreeze all through the lines and stuff so that's what we did yesterday very very fun so basically now we have to go back to where we left off and finish all of that up tonight um, and kind of restart this whole process so uh, last and final call last shameless plug of the wrenchworks winter launch if you guys have not already headed over there uh, we are gonna be shutting down that pre-order uh, by the probably by the time you watch this you probably have maybe like a 12 uh, 24 hour period before that is done so if you guys want Christmas gifts if you guys want to get in on those jackets all the the sweatshirts are back in stock uh, go over there head over there get all of that stuff now because we aren't gonna be reordering probably until probably until next year sometime so everything that we have is what we have and that is it we're not gonna be restocking anything so all of the sizes uh, are there so that's it that's the last I'm gonna mention that all right so now that that is out of the way let's head over to the shop now that you know what I did and did not do yesterday. Uh, Reagan is over six months now and she is finally, uh, you know, having a good time recognizing you, recognize your voice. So uh, really enjoying uh, my, not that I didn't enjoy it before, but um, just, you know, starting to kind of come into her own, which is, is really exciting. So I want to make sure I don't miss any of that being over at the shop, making these videos. Uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, it's a balance. I know most of you guys understand that. Um, so I know uh, the first gen progress uh, has definitely been a little slower, but that's okay. We are going to get it done. I can probably miss you guys that so let's fire up the 08 here and get our butts over to the shop new key tags all right, so we have finally made it over to the shop this evening. Uh, I got two questions uh, that I read in the comments quite a bit. It was more than one person asking this question. So I wanna address this. You guys know I always try to provide uh, some type of value to you guys, tips, tricks, uh, why we do things or why I do things a certain way. Uh, number one was, as I was torquing the flywheel bolts on the back of the engine, how to stop the rotation of the engine as you torque them, seeing that they have a higher torque. So uh, yes, the, the compression of the engine will slow it down, but it still will turn it over. So you do need to stop the engine from spinning. So you can kind of do that uh, a couple different ways, uh, the way that I always normally do it. So our fluid damper down there, and it's very hard to see. So. Uh, fluid damper has a what they call a full power kit. It actually looks very very similar I think I have one over here on the shelf Don't mind the mess here. So our fleece barring tool um, Right here right here our fleece barring tool this can actually go on the front of uh, Most dampers not an ATI, but a fluid damper a stock damper uh, it will so Basically with this on the front of the uh, crank, you can then put a, uh, a breaker bar in there and then kind of set that against the side of the frame or a full power kit uh, from Fluid Damper themselves. Kind of looks similar to this, but it has a 16 millimeter head uh, right in the middle. So again, same concept, breaker bar with a socket right on the front of the crank. You have enough room underneath there to put a breaker bar on there. While you're torquing down there, that does help quite a bit uh, with holding everything in place as you're torquing the flywheel. So that was the first question. The second question was about 
me talking about the transmission fluid. So uh, I did mention that we run Dex Merc in the trans and then a plus four uh, in the T case. So this is actually from our man, Mr. Muldoon, and this actually came from uh, Mr. Levon himself from Firepunk is the main difference between ATF-4 versus Dexmerc-3 is the amount of friction modifier in the fluid. So ATF, uh, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm actually reading line for line here. Uh, the ATF plus four is no problem in lower horsepower applications, but we have seen slip from too much friction modifier in the higher horsepower trucks. That's why we run Dex Merc. And our man, Mr. Muldoon, agrees with that. Again, if you guys have a trans built by somebody else that says to not do that, then that's exactly what I'm recommending you doing. But the uh, people that we and, and John, uh, who builds our transmission, uh, agrees with that statement. That's why we have always run uh, a Dex Merc in this truck, seeing that it makes uh, a little bit more power than most. I'm not saying that you need to go out there and drop the fluid out of your out of your truck and change right now. I'm just saying. If in the future you want to go down that road, that's the information that I have for you guys, and that's the reason why. So yes, I was speaking correctly. Uh, Dex Merc in the trans, uh, ATF in the T case. So that is what we are going to do uh, right now. That's all we really have left to do. Uh, fill those two things up, torque the lug nuts down, and then we will be able to put this thing back on the ground. Just go over everything one last time. And uh, honestly, I kind of just want to drive this thing. Like I said, it's going to snow uh, later tonight, and then they are just going to plaster the roads with salt. And that is just never, never, ever a good thing. So we got some uh, Amsoil ATF that we're going to dump. Actually, this thing, this thing, I wanted to show you guys this thing too. I, and maybe this is this is like a really simple thing that uh, most people probably already have, but this is a fluid adapter uh, to go to uh, the normal uh, quart size, and then you can actually take off this. Come on, I can't do it with one hand. Okay, okay there, with the white adapter off, you can see it actually has a bigger thread adapter for uh, the bigger cans, and then it looks like this little magic piece right here spins down, and you can block the flow. That way, if you're mid bottle, you can uh, you can stop the. F of course, I can't do this. Let me put this down. Boom, boom. Look at that. That that's pretty cool. I I was at the store and I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. I don't have one of those. I think we should do that. Oh, look at that trans fluid gear oil spout. I'll try and find this online and put a link down below. If you guys are interested in this, I will try and find a link and put it down below. But that's all the info that I got for you guys this evening. We need to start working on this and make sure that we are good for this weekend. to go. Time for a little test drive. Alright, 
so we are gonna go for a little test drive here we've been checking the transmission fluid got her in manual mode trans temp is coming up engines warm I don't know how accurate that is but it is definitely cold so let's go make sure everything is working as it should but first let's buckle up for safety because we're gonna need that <laughs> we back we got second gear all right so per not wanting to screech the tires we are only going to go into first gear at a complete stop This is what 0% looks like at nighttime. Green light. Let me shut off the lights. Yes, this thing, whoo, I'm so pumped. I am, man, I am so glad. It hurt my heart to have my baby down. Man, she is ready to rip. Uh, I think the transmission fluid just like a tad high. I'm gonna go grab my uh, little suction, suction thing, pull out a little bit of fluid, maybe like, like a quarter of a quart, maybe, maybe half a quart. Uh, I think it takes about, oh, did I not shut my lights off? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I think it takes, I have about 19 in there now. Uh, so I believe it takes about 18, 18 and a half maybe. Uh, I did want to get the transmission fluid warm. Uh, transmission fluid is always a little tricky uh, to get right. You really gotta like babysit it for a while if you don't do it every day, but uh, we're back. I'm so excited. Uh, she's dirty, very dirty, but she needs, uh, Ooh, man, I'm speechless. This thing, this thing is a beast. Let me tell you, I, with the bigger, we've never dynoed with the bigger turbo on it. So that's what I am very curious. Uh, if you go by mile an hour in times, this thing has got to be pretty close to about a thousand, uh, you know, definitely above 950. So we are going to find out Saturday. Let me tell you that. So we are pretty much ready. There's a couple other little things I want to check uh, before we fully launch it what do you want it's nine o'clock i gotta go to bed god damn it are you sleeping hell no i'm not sleeping I I, just want to you're you're back out in the shop no i'm actually taking the night off i worked earlier hey this conversation is being recorded for tomorrow's video quality by the way assurance. what <laughs> quality assurance. there's no quality assurance with you let me tell you that <laughs> hey uh if if I get these pipes made tomorrow morning, are you busy tomorrow night? I'm real busy for the next six months. Get, that is not. You can't do me like that. <laughs> uh, are you gonna Are you gonna be busy with that razor tomorrow? No, the razor's gone. And you already Almost left here. <laughs> oh, if I get these pipes made up, can I trade some labor for you to weld them up, or you don't even have time for it? You can tell me. I don't care. 
Yeah. If you want to swing by in the later afternoon, evening with them, that's fine. Well, I should be able to knock out the pipes early, early tomorrow, and then I can help you as soon as you get home, give you an extra hand, and then we could do it after. Yeah. All right. So it's all hinging on me getting these things tacked up. <laughs> what is this? The uh, intercooler pipe? Yeah. That's only going to be one or two welds around, right? It should really maybe be a max of like four tops, uh, just three inch round pipe. Yeah, that'll go real fast. Yeah, so it shouldn't be it shouldn't it's be only too half bad. Of the welding I did on the uh, charge pipes. Don't make me come over there and do it for you. <laughs> no, that'd be that'd be great. I'll give you a key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Cool. Let All right. Know. Yeah, we'll play it by ear. I'll I'll talk to you during the day. We'll see what happens with the. If the weather gets crappy, I'll probably just hang at home with the kids or something. Sounds See. good. The o, the the O five is ready to rip. Tater it chip. Is. Did you take it out? I took it out. Yeah, feels good. Oh yeah, beautiful. Don't blow it up. You had to say that. I don't have any wood in this shop. If you grenade that trans again, you know it's a four R one hundred swap. Get the hell out of here with your Ford garbage. <laughs> I mean, that's what they put in them when nothing else holds. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. All right. I've had enough of your nonsense for this evening. All right. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye. He has officially lost his mind thinking we're going to put Ford parts in our Dodges. So the plan was to possibly get to the intercooler piping tonight. Uh, honestly, just not going to get there. Uh, we need to go home, uh, help Allie do a bunch of stuff. Uh, again, last call for the Wrenchworks pre-order stuff. Again, if, if we don't have a size uh, like in a week or two or closer to Christmas or some of the uh, sales that we might be doing later, later on, um, there's just not a whole lot I can do about that. So make sure you guys get in on that. Either way, 05, back on the road. Road. Today is a good day. Today is a very, very good day. Uh, took about, took about um, a little over half a quart out of this thing. So really could probably be good with a solid 18 quarts. So uh, that is with a Magtech double deep pan and one cooler uh, in the back here. So yours, uh, a factory trans might actually take an additional one or two by the time it gets through all of the factory cooler, stuff like that. My lines are actually pretty short going back here. So uh, that is it boys. I think that's all I got for you. Like I said, I'm gonna get over here kind of early tomorrow. Um, hopefully, Man, snow, snow tomorrow. Uh, I don't mind snow. I don't mind snow. But the thing, the stuff that they sprinkle all over the road, uh, that salt stuff, just, just not, not going to be, not, not a fan of that stuff. But uh, we'll get the first gen knocked out. Uh, trust me, guys. Like I said, nobody wants to see this thing running more than I do. Um, it's just, it's one of those things where you know, like you don't let your hobby become a job. Uh, and I just. I just get to it when I get to it. That's it. I like, I enjoy it, but I'm not going to kill myself to get it done. But that is getting knocked out very, very shortly. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Make sure you guys head over to wrenchworks.com. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.